And Lena Tillette has also been following the story from the very beginning. She spoke with the owner of M's Pub today. You'd never expect anything like this to happen to a place that you love so much. Huge flames shooting into the sky in the old market. M's Pub fell victim to a fast moving fire that completely destroyed the restaurant, spreading to the above apartments and damaging almost everything around it. I'm going to be probably in a state of shock for a little while, I imagine. Um, yeah, I. It's very hard. M's pub owner Ron Samuelson was in Phoenix Saturday when he heard the news, returning immediately to learn that his business of 30 years is now gone. Very, very sad. There's, there's a lot of families affected by this. My chef just had a baby. Um, I've got people that are in school. M's pub server Erin Higgins is among them. She says she was not inside when the explosion happened, but she rushed to a chaotic scene. Watching the fire was just completely surreal. Omaha Fire says the official cause is still under investigation, but that crews on scene smelled natural gas after being called for an explosion. Higgins says one of her coworkers on, smelled but, the gas just um, before it happened, and her quick actions might have saved lives. They just went into action. All the kitchen staff got the gas in the restaurant shut off, um, and then 10 seconds later, um, the explosion happened. All M's pub employees then took refuge in nearby restaurant La Bouillon. Owner Paul Kulik says they arrived bruised and shaken. There were people who were cut. There were people who were thrown against walls and lifted up off the floor. I mean, it was, it was a violent explosion. Higgins says it was an emotional scene. Lots of hugs, some tears. For 24 hours, firefighters have been on the scene, first to contain the fire and then to eliminate any hot spots. The aftermath is chilling, an icy shell overtaking this landmark structure. Samuelson says 45 people worked at M's Pub and they'll now have to find another way to support themselves until they figure out what they're going to do next. But he also says he's heartbroken about all the people who lost their homes, who live above the restaurant. Now I just want to ask for people's prayers for um, the displaced families and um, the businesses in the old market that are trying to do, make a living that, that aren't burned out, you know. Despite what many have described as incredible loss, they still say it could have been much worse. I'm grateful that we could be together and that every, know everyone was okay, which is just amazing. That's Lena Tillett and Roger Hamer reporting. Now, Samuelson was also hopeful and very proud of all the memories he shared with those at his restaurant. I will have much more on that and also how the community is stepping up for M's Pub employees coming up tonight at 10.